In this video, you'll learn how to view, edit, create, and save custom reports. You can access the Custom Reporting tab from the Account Summary widget on the Home Workspace, or select Balance and Transaction Reporting from the Reporting menu. Select the Custom Reporting tab on the Account Summary widget. Use the drop-down to select a saved report. The report will display on the screen below. Export and Print buttons are displayed at the top of the report. These actions will include all report results. To see totals for the accounts that the report covers, click Show Account Totals. To hide the displayed totals, click Hide Account Totals. To see account details, click the right arrow next to an account. You'll see detail information for the first and last days in the requested date range, as well as any transactions for the period covered by the report. If an image is associated with a transaction, an icon appears in the Image column, and you can click the icon to view the image. You also have the option to print the detail information for just the account in view. Click on the down arrow next to an account to hide the detail information. To make changes, click anywhere in the Report Criteria menu bar. Required fields will be noted with a red asterisk. Leave any of the transaction filters blank to include all available information. If you want to view your changes, click Submit. To save the changes to the existing report, select Save This Report and do not change the report name. To save your customizations as a new report, provide a new report name. Select Shared if you wish to make the report public for other users to view. When you're finished, click Submit. The new report will display in the Saved Reports list. You can set any report as the default or clear the default. Delete a custom report by selecting the trash can beside the report name. The next option is to create a report based on new report criteria. To begin, click the Custom Reporting tab to start fresh. Note that if you have a report set as default, you will need to clear the default in order to start fresh. In the Select Accounts By field, you have the option to select whether you want to search for accounts, account group, or bank code. The corresponding field will default to All. If you wish to narrow the criteria, you can click in the field to see a list of options available. Next, select a date range. To run the report for a specific date or date range, select Custom Range. Select the from date on the left calendar, then the to date on the right calendar. For a single date, select the same date in both calendars. Click Apply. Use the Account Transactions View drop-down to select how you want to view accounts, either Credit and Debit Single View or Separate Credit and Debit Views. There are optional transaction filters which can be used to further define the report criteria. Leaving any of these fields blank, will include all available options for that criteria. If you want to view the report, click Submit. Click Inside the Report Criteria menu bar if any changes are needed. If you want to save this report for future viewing, click Save this report and enter a name for the new report. Select the Shared checkbox if you wish to share the saved report with other users who have access to custom reporting. When you've finished selecting search criteria, click Submit, and the results will appear as a custom report. Thanks for watching this video, where we reviewed how to view, edit, create, and save custom reports.